Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about area and circumference of a circle. So first we have to define what these terms mean. Let me just draw a circle real quick. Good enough. So the area is going to be the inside part, that's the area. And the circumference, if I draw a second circle, again, good enough. The circumference is going to be the outside of the circle. That's what circumference is. Hopefully you already knew that. If not, you know it now. And the second two things we need to talk about are radius and diameter. So radius is defined as the distance to the center. We usually call it R, stands for radius. And then the diameter is going to be the same idea, except it's the entire line through the center of the circle. That's diameter. And the relationship between radius and diameter is that 2R is equal to d, the diameter. So basically all of the equations I'm gonna be giving you today, they are going to be in terms of r, the radius, but if you do want to convert your equations to diameter instead, you're gonna to have to use this relationship right here, and we'll talk about that. So first the area equation, area is going to equal pi times r squared, and circumference is going to be two pi r. So in other words, both of these equations, they're in terms of r. If you want them in terms of diameter, my suggestion would just be take your diameter, divide it by two, you get your radius, and now you can use these equations. But if you really do want to use diameter instead of radius, well then fine, using this relationship, you can say area is equal to pi times d divided by two squared. Or if you want to do circumference, you can say two pi times radius is d over two the twos cancel and you just get pi times the diameter. So there we go, that's two equations you can use. I'm going to be just using the radius ones today because that's what I'm more comfortable with, but technically you can use either form. So let's look at some examples now. The first one, let's say I have a circle and it has a diameter of six centimeters and I would like to know what the area and circumference is. And so to find that, all I need to do is use the formulas. So first, if my diameter is six, that means the radius is six over two, which is three. So my area A is going to be pi times R squared, pi times three squared, which is going to be nine pi. And yes, technically pi is like 3.14, it technically goes on forever, but I'm just gonna leave my answer as nine pi. Most teachers will accept that. And then the units, since it's an area, the units are centimeters squared. So that's it for the area. Then the circumference is going to be 2 pi times r, which is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so the answer is going to be 6 pi, and the units for a circumference is not centimeters squared, it's just centimeters. So that's it for the first one. Hopefully that's really easy. Now the next one, I'm going to make it harder. For the next one, I'm not going to give you a circle. I'm just going to tell you that the circumference c is 10 pi inches and I want you to use that to tell me what the area of the same circle. I want you to tell me what the area is. So to do this, first I want you to think that circumference is equal to two pi r, and you can solve for the radius. And once you find the radius, you can then plug that radius into the area equals pi r squared equation. So that's the idea. Solve for radius first, use that to find the area. So in other words, 10 pi is equal to two pi r, you're gonna divide both sides by two pi. And when you do that, pi's cancel, 10 divided by two is five. Looks like our radius is just gonna be five. Now I'm gonna plug that radius of five into the area equation. Area equals pi times five squared. So that means area equals five squared is 25 times pi. And the units in this case, since they were inches for circumference, area is going to be inches squared. And there we go, that's it for the second one. Now just one more problem we're gonna look at today. It's the hardest one. Imagine I have two circles inside of each other. So I've got a big circle here and then inside it we have a smaller circle off center. And what I would like to do is I would like to find the area of this blue shaded region right here. In other words, the blue shaded region includes everything in the big circle except the little circle. Now I am gonna give you some information. I'm gonna tell you the smaller circle, the smaller circle has a radius 
of let's say five meters and let's say the bigger circle is going to have a radius of let's say 20 meters and again I need to find the area of the blue so basically if you want to find the area of the blue think of it like this area of blue is equal to the bigger area the bigger circle minus the area for the smaller circle that's the idea we're going to use here and how are we going to find the area of the bigger and smaller circles well remember we have the equation for area it's just pi r squared so for the bigger area bigger area is going to follow pi times r was 20 for the bigger area so square that 20 squared is 400 so the bigger area is going to be 400 pi and then we just need to subtract the smaller area smaller area is going to be again pi r squared where this time the radius is only 5 squared so the smaller area is only going to be 25 pi and now if I want to find the blue area the shaded area I just need to take my bigger area which was 400 pi subtract the smaller area which was 25 pi and since they both have a pi in it I can just subtract these numbers it's going to be 375 pi and the units are, since it was meters and it's an area, it's going to be meters squared. Hopefully, that's a good introduction for you on area and circumference. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, please post them in the comments below. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.